what's up everybody it's nerp here and i'm on the chess server with blinky um testing out mono order new cards like knight sergeant and arbalister will probably get some play when they're released onto the live server when waypoints comes out and i think this is a pretty good starting hand this is a two drop a nice creature curve i'll sacrifice the arbalister because that's more of a late game card i think Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna sacrifice the Vanguard because uh, I don't I don't want two five jobs. I want to have a nice curve up. He's decay, probably testing out some undead stuff. Turn one Meyer Shambler. That's pretty scary. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the Ducal Skirmisher because I want to stay with these knights and. Um, Do I play the Duke Gold Infantryman? I'm going to play the Duke Gold Infantryman right in the middle there. And hopefully he's not able to make this Meyer Shambler kill me. Hmm. I'll show you the deck I'm using after this video. I'm pretty sure this is actually one of Blinky's decks. Uh, I still want this curve. I think I'm going to sacrifice the Arbalester because it's more of a late game card. It's really strong in the late game. You can make it go off uh, very often because that 5 counts and ticks down every time you play a spell. Yeah. An order has a lot of spells. Um, let's think. What is, what's going to be harder for him to do? Attack on this lane? What's the hardest lane for him to attack on? He has a creature. It would be easy for him to attack on this lane. Harder for him to attack here. I'll just move up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna move up. If I stay there, he could just put a creature in the back and have him move up. From up there, his best chance is if he plays like two creatures. He has like a two thirds chance. But he's probably gonna play one creature to have fifty percent chance. And so this thing won't die. But it becomes severely weakened. Okay, so he's moving down. Mudo Fighter. He's one of the new scrolls. A four two two for three. I'm not sold on it yet, but two health is really frail. But maybe it's pretty good. So I'll play the Night Scholar. As you can see, this is a very knight heavy deck. Not as aggro orderish as uh, you see in the live server. Um, I would move down, but damage curse is a thing, and I don't, I don't want him just getting free damage on Ducal Infantryman. And with that wing shield there, so I'll put that Night Scholar in the back. Who knows, maybe this is uh, Blinky's new version of YOLO Decay. I haven't actually played on the test server much. Um, so it's cool to see the new stuff that's coming out. Flesh Animator, one of the new scrolls. A Mystic, just like Earthborn Mystic. Um, so all the undead creatures, like, count down when he counts down to zero. So it's pretty good in undeck, undead deck. More than pretty good. Pretty amazing. Um, so he can make this shambler go all the way up here. That's honestly okay though. I'll put down the. I want to put this guy kind of in the middle. Put him next to the knight. And I don't mind having zero cards in it because this guy can always draw a card. Okay, we're building up our forces on the top and the bottom. My units are a bit bulkier. This flesh animator is not doing much without with only one undead unit on the board. Huh. Wait, is Sylvester so Pleasure Remember? Does it work on the other other uh, the opponent's undead creatures as well? By this wording, it should. That's pretty cool. Undead creatures have a countdown. Okay. So we don't want to do too much idle damage. We're going to move down, I think, this turn. I'll have to sack the Honorable General. 
And ah, I should have drew a skull first. That was a mistake. Um, oops. Um, I'll draw a skull now. And now we get the honorable general. Yeah. So if I, I would have had an honorable general on the board right now if um, if I didn't make that mistake. So, unless this Night Sergeant is damning cursed, um, the, the Night Scholar's Council will be zero also, because Night, Night Sergeant is kind of like the, the pre-nerfed uh, Wings Captain, if you know what that was, it makes adjacent, um, this guy makes adjacent Knights countdown to, countdown by one, when his countdown goes to zero, so, this guy's gonna... If he had a one countdown, he'd attack next turn. But since he has a two countdown, plus this guy, he'll attack next turn. I'm not good at explaining things. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can see this match now is attacking again because this is plush animators going off. Very excited for waypoints. The current meta is getting a bit stale. It's a little too aggressive for me. Some really strong, powerful late game order decks, like, like maybe this. Um, should be a lot of fun. Late game order was actually my first deck in ranked, so I do I do like it. Hmm. It was my first pre-con order, and then back then, like a year ago, there was there was no aggro order. It was just late game order with imperial imperial resourcing your way to victory, and then like clearing the board on like round twenty, like with like a triple mangano focus, mangano speed focus. But then there was a nerf to focus, which means it couldn't go on structures anymore. Another flesh animator. Okay. So that night scholar is going off. Um, I don't think I'm gonna draw scrolls. I want to get rid of this thing. I could sack for scrolls and hope for like a pother or flip to like get rid of this Mudo fighter or something. But I think I'm just going to sacrifice the focus to get a general out. So I'll destroy a couple things and keep you up there, the general there. I don't know if he has stuff like hex marks. Or something. That was an awesome attack animation by the Night Sergeant. It like spins around. It's really cool. Personally, I'm most excited for the new order stuff like night decks and and energy decks like the new gray blocks. The growth and um, oh no, don't tell me. Oh no. So I guess this is like yellow decay, like part two. Well, we got a paw there. I guess we want to kill that thing when it's like... Yeah. Paw there. Go up or down. Don't go right there. Yes. Awesome. Um, I have to destroy this. I'll have to sack this Night Scholar. Kabunk. That works too. Um. Huh. Let's see. We do want to come onto that. Let's go ahead and kabonk. Let's just kabonk you. And I will bless and paste. Um. to you. I'll draw a scroll. And now this guy is going to make these two guys go off again, and then this knight sergeant's gonna just like go off again, so that's already good. Alright. But I think this is like guild K, so we have to protect we, we want to get that Imperial off to heal the idol. We want to heal that idol up.
I miss playing Mono Order. Agro Order came along and showed it could beat Mono Order really easily. Okay, so it sucks that happened, but we're just going to Imperial. Imperial resources! Um, everything's going off next turn. Let's just, um, let's go for as much idle damage as we can. Raise his attack just a bit. Every little bit might count because YOLO Decay can has a lot of Dark Dial damage, so I might lose if I don't win this game soon. But we have 8 resources, he has 4 resources, so we should be able to win soon. And I have everything on my side of the board attacking next turn besides the Winged Shield. Hmm. So, Roger down there. Let's see. Focus. I'm not going to draw that scroll just yet. I'm going to see what I can get when I sacrifice for scrolls. Arvalister. I don't know if that's how to pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. So if I blessing of haste, I blessing of haste to you. Wait, that uh, blessing of haste there. Is that GG? That's dead idol of these two guys. Blessing of haste him, move him up. That's dead idol. Then I have six damage coming on top with a focus is nine damage, plus a aging knight. Blessing of haste. GG. I think. Okay. Oh no. Never mind. <laughs> I, I sacked that. I was like, why did I sack that blessing of haste? I would be in good shape if I didn't sack that blessing of haste. Um, so we're going to draw a scroll. Uh, speed. Yeah, can we do it? No, we can't. Uh, let's just go ahead and. I guess I have to kill stuff. I'm running out of time. I know I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna risk like. I'm not gonna risk everything by moving down, not having time to move up, and he just like hits the idol and wins. <laughs> Took too long to think. I would have had time to destroy stuff with like moving down, like focus and kill the rod or whatever. But it's fine. Two idols down. He has two idols down. But if he is like a. Like. No, is he gonna do like crazy stuff? Whenever somebody plays an iron bot, I just get so scared. Okay, that's it. Just, just to kill them, just to kill that. Um, and that should be GG now. No, 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 wait. So a blessing of hate. Oh, that's so confusing. I have to learn how to play on an order again. Um, blessing of hate, you. Yeah, it's GG. Yeah, not GG. <laughs> GG. Yeah, definitely GG now. Yeah. That works. Yay! Mono. Play another match versus Blinky. This time we're going first, and I'm gonna play some Gravelock stuff. Uh, Gravelock. Guard, Grave Gruel, I'm pretty content with that starting hand. So, new scroll, new scroll. Remember guys, test server is open to all players on Mondays. So don't, uh, make sure you head over there. Um, let's go like that, let's get our Grave Lock Guard. Let's see. We could grave gruel and go with an infectious uh inf infected grave lock next turn. If we really want to. Um machination mindset machinated. 
people. Isn't that fun? Um, I'm gonna sack for scrolls here. I'm gonna be ambitious. See if I can get like a grave hawk and then like go for the grave gruel. Watch, I'm gonna get it. Darn. Close. But no cigar. He can't burn me this coming turn. So I'm gonna go with imagination mindset. He does not have enough energy to burn me just yet. So that guy should survive, and I kinda wish I still had that magic, you know. Grave cool. Lock with brood. Forge. So he was scared of the mash native. I don't have one. And now I'm going to play the grave rule. I'm gonna play it up here, it's gonna slowly tick this thing away. And then I'm gonna play it. Clear block reader. So, if he has nothing about that grave lock up there, it's going to get rid of that, that forge. Grave gruel. He goes for the grave gruel. Let's see what he's going to pull off. Sandpack Memorial. Well, it's a lot of numerators. Bigger than denominators. A Thea! Round four Thea. Round four Thea is scary. Oh no! I was <laughs> stopped by the profanity filter. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. Put you here. Put you there. Profanity filter. Um, <laughs> awesome. Elder. Who doesn't love elders? Let us go ahead and I'm going to take out the creature right there. I'm going to have a Gravelock Elder next turn and all my Gravelocks will be a little stronger. Okay, so he takes that out. Fine. Oh, I don't like to get rid of a theory, but I have to because I'm getting a gray block elder. Um. Let's move you up. He's dealing with machinated. Not machinated. Machination mindset. This was what I meant to say. Oh well, and he moves up. And let's see what we can draw here. Grave gruel, don't need it, and get nothing. Uh Afraid the grave rule stuff might put you too far behind because you're not he's uh kinda almost losing some because you're uh spending a scroll on possible on just like putting on another scroll. So he gets Gravelock out. Let's see what we can do here. Um Gravelock Elder. Fantastic. And now let's see what we can do. Hopefully, there's enough another uh, 
violent dispersal. It's not what I would like. Power trip? Oh no! Power trip scares me. But it's the, just pumping that forge. That's alright. Okay. Let's get like a. Let's get like a double machinated. Even then. Ah, oh, no thunder surge. Okay, um, let's see. I could spark burn that. Probably the best option. Pot. Not pot. Pour. What's pot again? Potion. Pot is something in scrolls. It's not doing anything. Let's kill you. Get rid of you. Here we go. I know pot is something in scrolls. I'm not quite sure what. Yeah, so leave me feedback down below in the comments if you like like test our videos like this because I obviously don't know what I'm doing really. I'm making wacky plays, uh, and probably not the high level ranked gameplay you came to see. But does but and you can always ch go check out the test server yourself on Mondays. So I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and play another elder. Let's give this one potion resistance. I don't want to be violent dispersaled. We don't want to be violent dispersaled. I need a violent dispersal. Let's get rid of this thing. The thea has been bugging me. It's quite annoying. Quite a nuisance. Oh boy. No. Oh. And there's Grey Black Elder. A crowed win might be our only chance. Uh. Sacrifice that. Lockling brood. Crowed. Piercing. I guess a potion resistance on you will actually make you survive. Almost misclicked there. Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Wahaha! I make that mistake a lot <laughs> in, in like actual meaningful games in ranked. Actually, not that much. But he used to. And now, that's his turn. Oh, that's it. That's, it might be GG. Oh, no, it's not GG. Um, suck this. 
Destination mindset. A corrode. Not win the game. Pretty darn close, though. Be pretty darn close. Destination mindset on a enchanted melee creature becomes relentless. Its attack is increased by one. Um. If I put that on the elder, would it work? Like, would not that? Would, I know it wouldn't get a relentless because it has its range creature, but would it get a? Would it get five attack? So I can. I guess that wouldn't matter though. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay. Um. I guess our only play is. Oh no, we can do this. But we can't do that. Okay, let's go with the machination. Machination. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and deal damage to that. This this is the um. High level gameplay you come to see Nerf and Blinky for. Really? VD. Wait, lol? Oh, <laughs> please take one second to calm down while considering. This profanity fi uh, filter has to be fixed. Okay, um, well, I guess I'll try again here. You still have the potion resistance. Um, I guess I could for scrolls. Double corrode, oh, it's so nice. Um, okay, I know you're surviving. I really want to get like a double corrode win. Put you back here. Double corrode. Double corrode. No. That kills him. But my father, when I was playing Order, did not kill him. Darn. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, machinated. Desperation. Burn. Um, let's go ahead and burn. Let's burn there. Let's. Go with another potion of resistance. I'm gonna take this idol down. And I should have played that travel more. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm not in my game, man. I'm not in my game. Hmm. So burn on him and spark and that kills him. Darn. Now how am I going to win this game with all three elders dead? I think it's an easy question. I won't win this game. Do I have any Mount Smurzels in this deck? I don't think I do. Uh, double corrode from you, destroys the idol. So, uh, let's do that. Now, hopefully, like, leaves his idols open and doesn't kill my guys. Go on. Go on. Leave 
Kendra, you don't always open. Well, that's not leaving them open. Um, burn, I guess. You, another outcast. Okay, our chance at winning this game is with this machinated. I don't. If it has them. I thought. Let's go with that. And don't kill him. I think you guys could hear me type really loud because the mic is kind of the mic is kind of next to the uh Oh no. No! I was going for a double crow next turn. What's going on? Grave gruel. Nawadi. Come on, move 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 that guy up so you can show that. And don't don't move the up. Don't move the up. Don't move the up. Oh no, what am I talking about? The bottom row is like occupied now. No. Oh my gosh. Uh <laughs> Darn. Um Put you here. Then I'll, I'll spark you. Two idols down. We've machinated. Who knows? Any machinated iron whip? Ah oh, man, GG. Darn. Well, that was quite an interesting game. Uh, yeah. So I guess that'll be it for today. Um...